Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday morning from Scrappy Rooster Quilts. We're here this morning going to do our first sew-in. Listen, I'm recording this because I'll need to upload it to uh, our YouTube channel once we finish. So I am recording this. I'll go live on Facebook in a minute and explain where you can go to get the video on YouTube and you can watch it as often as you want. Even if we just post it on our Facebook site, you can watch it our videos over and over but today I hope everybody's doing well you've had a good weekend and you're you're making it through your quarantine uh, but uh, we we quarantined ourselves yesterday and stayed on the sofa and in our chairs all day it was good to rest we're busy today with mask making and a tutorial not a tutorial but a sew in so hope you're ready to sew with us today we're using uh, we're going to make a fat quarter friendly quilt today and it's called fat quarter cubes it is simple to sew together. I chose it because it's simple and uh, Miss Rhonda has a lot of new folks in her beginning quilters class so uh, I want to choose something that you could do. Now the pattern calls for 18 fat quarters. I'm going to make a smaller quilt so I only chose nine fat quarters uh, and uh, I'll explain the breakup for cutting in just a second. But the finished size of this quilt is 66 and a half by 70, oh, I'm sorry, 87 and a half. So it's a, it's a large quilt, almost a twin size, but I'm going to make a smaller size and give it to one of our nieces in the future. So let's get started. Now you can also make this quilt scrappy. I'll try to explain that as we go along too. Rhonda's going to uh, focus on the table for just a second, and I'm going to show you the, uh, my fat quarters. Now, I chose fairy frost because uh, it's spring uh, we see lots of flowers the azaleas at home have been beautiful so I chose fairy frost and I pulled just a selection of fairy frost fabrics that we'll use for our fat quarter cube quilt I divided those into two sections because you're going to need to cut differently so on your first so I divided mine into um, six and three uh, so that I could make mine work. You, if you make the full quilt, you'll have a set of six fat quarters and a set of 12. So once you decide on your fat quarters and decide how much you want, how big you want your quilt to be, then uh, divide your fat quarters accordingly. Because I'm only using nine fat quarters, I pulled out three that I've, I'm going to do my first set of cuts from and six that I'm going to do my second set of cut, cuts from. Now I've started some cutting and I have some more to cut. I'll show you that in just a moment. In your set of three fat quarters, first of all, square up your fat quarters. Then you're going to cut these into six and a half inch strips. From each strip, you're going to cut two six and a half by 12 and a half and two six and a half squares. So you're going to need one, I'm sorry, two from each fat quarter, six and a half by twelve and a half, and two six and a half inch square. Just lay those aside for now and once all those are cut, that's from your three fat quarter stash or your um, six fat quarter, whichever size you're making. Now for your six fat quarters, my six, your twelve, whichever you're going to do. You're going to cut it a little differently. So you're going to cut those two six inch strips, but you're only going to cut one six by 12 inch strip from each one. And you're going to cut three, I'm sorry, four. You're going to cut four six and a half inch squares because you're going to need more of those squares as we uh, put together the quilt. So I'll give you those directions in just a moment and I'll tell you where you can find the pattern too. You probably already figured it out. All right, so I've, I've gotten started. I can actually sew one block for you, but I'm gonna put these aside just a second and I'm gonna pull up another fat quarter that uh, I, so I can show you how to cut it. I'll use this hot pink And I'm going to show you how I square up my fat quarters. So, my fat quarters are, if I hold it like this, 
Do you see the twist in it? So I hold my fat quarters until they hang straight. Once it hangs straight, I lay it on my board and I square up that one side. Because you want to be sure you're getting everything out of your cut. So I square up one side. And because I'm a right hand person, I usually flip those. But what I've been doing this morning is using my two ruler step. I want a six inch, sorry, six and a half inch strip. So I lay this here on my six and a half inch. I butt my other ruler up against it and I'm still checking for square and then I make that cut. I'm gonna make that cut again because I know this cutter has a notch in it. So there's my one six and a half inch strip. Now I'm going to cut that second six and a half inch strip. But this is my uh, second step, so we're going to be cutting that apart in a minute. One thing I didn't tell you, you've got this much left, but we're not going to waste it all. Just ignore it. You hear my phone ringing, but we're ignoring it because we're busy. We're working. So I'm going to cut a two and a half inch strip from that. There. I'm going to put it aside. Out of every fat quarter, you're going to cut that one two and a half inch strip, and that's going to be your um, binding. That's going to be your binding. Now, I'm still on my second set of fat quarters, so I'm going to cut these differently. If I were using my smaller stash, my solar, smaller set of fat quarters, I would um, cut two six and a half by twelve and a half and two um, six and a half. But because I'm cutting differently, I'm going to do my twelve and a half. And look, this ruler makes it easy because it's six and a half by twelve and a half. And I'm going to lay this here and there's my one six and a half. I told you there's a nick in this blade. And then there's, I'm going to flip this around real quickly. This is a six and a half inch ruler. And there's my six and a half inch square that I'm going to use a bit later. That's about the only scrap you have left. This and this, but look, I can get another two and a half inch strip out of that. So do not throw these things away because they're going to be useful in the past. All right, I've already cut my one two and a half, I'm sorry, woo! My one six and a half by twelve and a half. So all I have to do now is cut three more six and a half inch squares. So I'm cutting. There's that one notch. I told you I have a nick in my blade. There's the second one. Two times. And a third one. So now I've cut four six and a half inch squares out of that one fat quarter. There's my four. And one six and a half by twelve and a half. And you'll continue to cut that way. Even on your smaller set of fat quarters for that you're cutting differently, you'll still cut that two and a half inch strip out of there. Now uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the sewing machine and sew some of these together. So now once you have that ready and you cut, you're going to take a six and a half by twelve and a half and you're going to pick one of your squares to go with it. I certainly don't want to sew a pink on a pink, uh, but I might want to put purple with pink. I might want to put, I'm going to put blue with pink. I like to see some contrast. So we're going to sew this together. In fact, I'm going to make two of those. So let me pull, I'm going to pull this red because I love red too. And I'm going to pull this light blue and I'm going to stitch that 
on that. So we're going to stitch both of those quickly using a quarter inch seam allowance. I'm not a fast stitcher, I'd rather stitch slowly and not make mistakes than to stitch like a madman and make mistakes, but uh, for the purposes of TV, I've always wanted to say that. I'm gonna stitch quicker. So now once I get these stitched together, I'm going to press my seams to the large, to the large rectangle. I'm gonna step right over here and I'm gonna press to the large triangle. And those are the two. I need those two for my block. Now I'm going to set all of this aside so you can see what I'm doing. So there's my two parts of a block. Now I'm going to pick three six and a half inch. I might throw a green in here this time. So I'm going to pick three and I'm going to stitch these together really fast too. And when I get those stitched together, I'm going to press away from the center block. Let me throw this third one on there. Since it's a little darker, I'm going to put it on the other end of the blue. Because that blue's a little lighter and these are a little darker. Now I'm going to press those away. 